Tico, the origin of the Toyota Group. Tico has grown as a global organization by overcoming a lot of difficulties. Tico continues to look toward the future with the spirit of Mono Zukuri, excellence in manufacturing. The power that drives this quest has roots in Sakichi Toyota's spirit of research and creativity, which has been continuously passed down to each generation. Company founder Sakichi Toyota was born on February 14, 1867, in Kosai City. He was the eldest son of a carpenter, Ikichi, and his mother, A. Their life was not very easy. Sakichi started working as a carpenter's apprentice, following in the footsteps of his father when he finished elementary school. Although he didn't have much money, Sakichi persisted in his belief and devoted himself to inventing. Five years after Sakichi began inventing, in April 1890, the National Industrial Exhibition was held in Tokyo to commemorate Japan's new constitution. As soon as he heard the news, Sakichi immediately headed for Tokyo. Every day he went to the exhibition and intensively observed the steam engines and other machines on display. He was struck by the great accomplishments of the Industrial Revolution. The visit to the exhibition made Sakichi's passion about inventing burn even brighter. In November 1890, Sakichi finally finished his first invention with difficulty, the Toyota wooden hand loom. He was only 24 years old. He sent an application and acquired his first patent in 1891. This loom made one-handed weaving possible and dramatically upgraded both quality and efficiency compared to conventional looms. However, the hand loom had limits of productivity and efficiency because it relied on human power. From the beginning, Sakichi's vision had been to invent a power loom. That became his next project. In 1896, the Toyota power loom was completed, the first power loom in Japan. The efficiency and productivity of the loom, as well as quality of the cloth woven by this loom, created a sensation. Sakichi's power loom attracted a lot of attention from the industry. Sakichi never lost his passion for invention. After 10 years, he produced Toyota Automatic Iron Loom Type T, the world's first shuttle change automatic loom. In May 1910, at the age of 43, Sakichi went to the United States to observe loom works manufacturers in the Northeast region, which had supported development of the U.S. textile industry. Sakichi realized his latest invention, the automatic loom, was superior to the ones being used, so he immediately applied for patents in the U.S. This further encouraged his passion for invention. He also noticed the rapid increase of automobiles in U.S. cities. He strongly believed that the automobile era would also come in Japan. The history of Toyota Industries Corporation started with Sakichi's invention of the Toyota Automatic Loom Type G. The first president of the company was Risaburo Toyoda, 
who had married into the Toyota family. At the time, Sakichi's first son, 32-year-old Kichiro, became managing director and chief engineer. The original Articles of Incorporation of Tico clearly stated its major objective shall be pursuing invention and research, along with the manufacture and marketing of spinning and weaving machinery. This unprecedented concept originated from Sakichi's past experiences of struggling with the conflict between invention and commercial gain. The Type G, which was over 20 times more productive than the traditional loom, attracted attention both in Japan and other countries. The loom was called by one company, the Magic Loom. That company was Platt Brothers, one of the world's leading manufacturers of textile machinery in England. The company proposed to acquire the patent right to the Type G. In 1929, Tico received 100,000 pounds, which was 1 million yen in Japanese currency at the time to license the patent to Platt Brothers, providing production and marketing rights of the Type G for the world, except Japan, China, and the US. This was a turning point in Japanese technological history. An invention made in Japan, which was considered a developing country at the time, had received worldwide recognition. This became a source of pride for many Japanese. After the patent transfer agreement with Platt Brothers, Toyota Industries Corporation took a step forward into a new field. It was the automobile business, a totally different departure from textile machinery. At that time in Japan, automobile manufacturing was not yet a major industry. There were no companies manufacturing automobiles. Sakichi and Kichiro's passion for the automobile business was ahead of the times. Sakichi's philosophy was, we should never be satisfied with the current situation. A leader of a company should create a new business. So he encouraged his son Kichiro to develop and manufacture automobiles, passing down his dream to his son. In September 1933, the automobile department was set up within the company, but the road ahead was tough. Kichiro, with his colleagues, persistently pursued his goal to establish a mass production system, overcoming the challenges of materials and processing. Before 1929, Platt Brothers was a world-leading textile machinery manufacturer. However, the situation changed dramatically after 1929, the year of the patent license agreement. Toyota Industries Corporation continued to grow because of business diversification, while Platt Brothers declined in market presence. There was a distinct difference in the spirit of the two companies. Platt Brothers vanished with the slump in England's cotton spinning industry. After the patent agreement with Platt in 1929, we kept Sakichi's spirit of being studious and creative, continuing the improvement of textile machineries and the development of new businesses, such as expansion into the automobile industry. As the origin of all Toyota Group companies, the history of Toyota Industries Corporation has become the basis for the development of the group, including TMC. Persistently keeping the spirit of our founder has resulted in a wide range of product lines such as textile machinery, automobile, engine, materials handling equipment, compressors, and other products. 
One of Sakichi's goals was to develop the circular loom, weaving with continuous rotational motion without wasting energy. In keeping with that spirit of excellence in manufacturing, our spirit of challenge will last forever.